This is the re-revisit of these 175 watts metal halide light fixtures. When I first got the fixtures, I was told by the seller that they're fitted with a quasar bulb and the quasar bulb will illuminate when you first plug it in and will operate until the the metal halide bulb is up to temperature such that the fixtures are instant start if you will. That made good sense to me and so I said that on the first video but the operation of the fixture did not support that theory so then people started typing in the comment box that it's not it doesn't work that way and that the purpose of the quasar bulb is to turn on in the event that there's a flick in the power and the metal halide bulb is is too hot to re-strike. Eh, that didn't really make sense to me as to why that would be necessary because that's such an unlikely condition. You know, most likely if there's a power failure it's going to go off for some time. But uh, I tested it on video and the performance of the fixture did not uh, support that theory. So at this point I don't know if anybody knows what this does or if is it just broken I have no idea since the filming of the revisit which is between the initial video and this re-revisit there was some more commentary that says the quasar bulb is to illuminate if the metal halide bulb goes out. That also doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, but we're going to check it anyways because I personally have absolutely no idea what it's for at this rate. So the only thing I don't know, well actually it's not the only thing I don't know, I still don't know what the stinking quasar bulb does, but what I'm not sure of which might cause this test to be invalid is I don't know if removing the bulb is the same condition electrically as the bulb reaching EOL because I don't have any of these bulbs that are spoiled so I'm going to take it out and we're going to see what happens when I plug in this fixture. I don't know if this is supposed to be instantaneous or if it takes some time or whatever. The quasar bulb sure looks to me like it's intact so let's see. So it's trying to strike which obviously it's not going to do because the bulb is not there. I don't know if there's going to be a timeout period or what. I'll give it a couple of minutes and we'll see what happens. It's been several minutes now and nothing is changing. The power information is 118.8 the volts, 0 0.89 amps, 17 watts, power factor 0.16. So, I don't know. At this point, I'm just as oblivious to what this Quasar bulb is, is for now as I was at the beginning of the video. So, it's possible that this test is inconclusive because moving the bulb does not simulate the bulb going EOL. And in that case, I have no way to test it other than to just use the fixtures and at some point within the next decade maybe the bulb will burn out you know um, I don't know I have no idea how this works 
I just don't know. And I would say I hope somebody can tell me, but it seems like people are just typing stuff just for the sake of typing it. And it's not known to be true. So the mystery continues. What is that quasar bulb for? <laughs>